Uh, what's up, friends? Welcome. We're playing some standard. And uh, we're playing more with Raul Crackling Wit. And uh, I played a really cool Grixis Otters deck. I mean, like Otters. Grixis Otter Bolus deck or whatever. A while back that I was pretty cool. And uh, this is a straight is it version of a deck. Uh, played by Bolt Snap Bolt MTG to some good finish. It was a, I don't know if it was a challenge on Moto or a, a league or something. But uh, some result that it was more than just like building a deck and playing it. And uh, it's kind of a weird list, honestly. So... A much more controlling otter list. It's not like it's not like a prowess uh, beatdown deck. We have do have the mentors here, and we do have the storm tracer's talents. Uh, but there's also counter spells and a lot of sweepers. Main deck sweepers, three main deck brotherhood's ends, and four main deck ill timed explosions. That is a lot of sweepers. All right, and there's the mentor here too, which is only a one one. So kind of weird. Like you know, I guess the goal is to try and cast a few spells and build up sizing and then cast a sweeper, which is interesting. Uh, but that could obviously go aggro or controlling, which is kind of cool. I don't know. So we're looking list that did well in a tournament, and the best thing you can do in those spots if you is just to try it out. And Karn, Karn agrees. So let's uh, give it a spin. Brought to you by Karn. I swear to freaking God, dude, what are you doing? Are you ready to elevate your limited Magic the Gathering Arena limited stats by Untapped GG to make every draft count? Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting, our meta tier list shows you the best colors to draft and how popular they are so you know at a glance what colors to pick. Navigate card ratings to discover the strongest bombs, or dive deeper with our advanced view for detailed breakdowns. Ever wonder what it takes to get seven wins? Explore trophy decks from other players, study winning drafts, and replicate their successes. Victory is just a click away at mtga.untapped.gg. Your path to Mythic starts here. All right, chat, coming out with me. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Karn doesn't ruin the video again. All right, so we got uh, kind of an aggro one-two draw here. Interference is pretty sweet with the uh, the otter. And then we have a, a sweeper and a planeswalker. The weird thing also is that uh, Brotherhood's End deals damage to planeswalkers too, which is really, really awkward. So kind of a weird, weird mix of mistake. Let's get a spin. All right, so we're on the draw. Gonna keep. He's a sweet little otter. Storm Tracer's Talent. Did I see Pyroclasm coming back to standard? I did not see that, no. Spoilers are coming out. They play an Anchorage. Okay. One good thing is that, like, this deck should be able to shift pretty well post-sideboard games. It can just be an aggro deck or it can be a control deck, which is kind of cool. I didn't enjoy it, but... Uh, here's the Otter attack. Say go. If you cast Spree with all three modes, does Otter reduce each one? No. So it reduces the overall cast of the spell. That'd be sweet, but... Oh, leave my little Otters alone, all right? They're just trying to live their life. All right, so we have no... This is a really awkward turn, right? Because we have these Ren's Resolves and the Counter Spells don't play very well together. We probably want to just Resolve and try and find some lands. If they're a control deck, they could be a Caretaker's control deck. I'm not even play it into my uh, counter spell though. I'm just gonna play Lance Lego. I'm just play Lance Lego. Let's just try and play this Raw on the cleanest board possible and, and interact. This card gets better later anyway, so. This card's weird counter spells. It's a really weird build, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so here's the Emotion Field. We draw a creature land. We could just jam Raw here. Uh, if they counter it, it kind of sucks though. We. Other options to cast Ren's Resolve and maybe make a land drop and have a counter spell up. Um, which I don't hate, honestly. There's no memory delusion anymore, so it's hard to know like what they can punish us for. They play some other card draw spell, which is annoying, but I'm just gonna resolve. So play resolve. See if it resolves. We get Brotherhoods and Thundering Falls. That's pretty awkward. Uh, because we obviously wanted to. Leave up counter spell this turn. Sure, sure. This is like super telegraph now, but sure. I think Free Strider Lookout has any home and standard. I do like that card a lot. Uh, there is like a, a green black like land deck. Okay, so they miss a land drop. That's that's big. So we're gonna play a Thundering False. We're gonna lose Brotherhood's End, which sucks. Here's a Teferi on top. I oh, can keep that. And we'll just say go here. I mean, like, now that they missed a land drop, we're kind of just playing Drago. We have counter spells, and we're ready to sit here and do nothing, which is totally fine. Counter 
killed my otters. They're gonna end step get lost my enchantment. I, sure. <laughs> That's a four for one, folks, right? Three for one, four for one. We got a token they kill with the helix. So we traded a one mana card for a two mana card, a two mana card, and two maps. Let's hear it for us. We're great. All right, end step. I think we're gonna make a 2 2 flyer. Now that we have a uh, maps target with it also, so make our flyer. We'll die, maybe, but I think it's totally fine. We also might be able to uh, try to resolve this Ral here. So let's start with a, uh, a map, see what happens. Will they kill it? Response. The answer is no. It's another Teferi. I mean, Teferi does seem gas in these control matchups, right? We just keep, like, banging away and just trying to resolve one. That's fine. We'll keep that. Keep that. Um... And then I think we might just be in tap out mode now. We're just going to tap out for a Planeswalker every turn. So I think it's just Ral time. It's almost surely getting countered. Here's a deduce. Will it resolve? No, nah, yeah, for sure. And then we just play Spire and say, yo, now we might just be in jam mode. Just jam it to Ferry, jam it to Ferry on back-to-back -back turns. We'll see. Explosion here is fine as a card draw spell. Not the best. A spire hanging out also. So a chance they field me and try and, try and get rid of the Teferi, which would be fine for us. They're gonna buy their own Rawl. All right. I mean, our flyer tags that pretty well, right? So I guess, unfortunately, we Probably can't kill Ral here. We fight the Spire Witch block. All right, so let's just start here. Explore, and we find a land. Sure, it's fun. Just land, we'll just play Teferi. So let's read Teferi, because I haven't read in a while. Uh, when you draw a card, put a, put, a, put a little counter on Teferi. Zero, draw a card. Minus two to make a spirit token. If you draw a card, it gets bigger. And then target opponent, all right, that's, that's fine. So I imagine we're making a token here also. Teferi will go to... The Teferi goes to two. That's much easier to kill as well. Um, I'm just going to play it in plus. I want to keep it alive. So... Not, not plus, but it is plus, basically. Draw a card. Oh! Major Shock. That's insane. Alright, so... Now I get to kill Ral, which is awesome. Get off my plane. Get out of here! That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I suppose they could, like, activate Anchorage and play a spell or two and still kill, still kill the fairy here, but it's obviously fine, so. This way, Otis! All right. A little Tylee, what do you got for me? They're thinking. They got a clue. Definitely a... Kind of a weird build, but... In the tank, looking great. Thanks for following Retro. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Support the content. If you like what I do here, if you like that you watch my streams and my shows and everything else, uh, your support makes that possible. So, cost you nothing. Hit a button. Here's an abrade. So, we're going to put Port to Ferry down to one loyalty, which is fine. We draw a Spire Bluff Canal. It goes up. I mean, we're going to draw two up this thing and see what happens. We actually make a token, too. Teferi's a cool card. It's a cool card. We draw Rawl, too. Ah, uh, but no untapped land. Bummer. So, no discard. We could discard two cards here to kill this. That would be very, very bad. So, discard this. Let me do that. And then, add some counters. Now, I can make a token. But, unfortunately, um, then the, the, this guy would just kill it. I guess we have the Lightning Strike, also. Hmm. Playing some standard. Yep. What's up, Retro? How's it going, my friend? First time chatter, Retro and Yagdagduku. Welcome. Um, I kind of want to just draw, honestly. It goes to five. We draw an untapped land, so now we can actually have Lightning Strike and Phantom Interference up, or we can cast Rawl. Let's cast Rawl. Yeah, we're good here. It's, it's Super Friends time, folks. Two five loyalty Planeswalkers in play and a Chump Blocker. That feels pretty good. 
Raul could also, yeah, it can turbocharge the Teferi. It can make a token and then draw three with Raul. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little pairing. Should we build a Super Friends deck on Freshly Brewed? That'd be cool, right? Like, there haven't really been that many Planeswalkers in Standard for a while, but got powered down a bit with the rotation of four sets leaving, and there's a few more cool Planeswalkers. Honestly, Raul just plays good in the Planeswalker deck also. It makes blockers. It's kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that for uh, for next week's Freshly Brewed. Bring back the Elder Spell. What? Why would you do that? They're going to map. Hit the deuce. All right, I mean, we're sure block. Make a map token. Ooh, torch the tower. Wow. It'd be a real shame if we had a second to ferry. Right? Uh, all right, so do you want to run this like Rawl play where you like make a token with Teferi, Rawl it, make it big? Then we have Counterspell and Strike to defend it. That's kind of cool. So we go Rawl or Teferi make a token. It'll go to two. Then Rawl draw three. It goes to five and I'll have a five five in play. Sure. I'm in. Let's try it. Uh, so counter on Rawl. Make a token with Teferi. You know, I've always got draw three, discard two. I'll just invent a solution. Draw Pearls of Wisdom, discard Spiral Canal, land. Uh, it was shock too. All right, so five, five, five loyalty. We also have a shock and a counter spell. We can just kill this while we're tapped out. That's a good idea, I think. Let's kill this now. I've calculated and Rawl is just going up, up, up. Stonks are up on Rawl. We're gonna hold the strike for the anchorage also. Blue vigilance creature. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the deal is, but that's what we got here, so. Do you know how much mental energy I expend? Three cards in hand. Yeah, they, they, they're pretty good tokens. They're gonna feel the ruin my Wrestle Spire. All right, we'll make it red. We'll get ourselves an island or a mountain or something, right, mountain? Mountain sounds good. These two Planeswalkers are like really doing it. All right, get a land. Beginning combat step. Nothing, just nothing. Here's Caretaker's Talent. Folks, folks, what do we say? What do we say here, folks? Get off my plane. Get out of here. This has been a clean game. Now we just do it again, right? Just make a token. Draw. Didn't draw another counterspell, unfortunately. Uh, we have Pearls of Wisdom. It's going to land an ill-timed explosion. That shock's pretty bad. Give it a shock. All right. This is on seven. What's the ultimate? Target opponent uses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand, and they shuffle each other non land permanent they control in the owner's library. It's not very good in this matchup. Uh, okay. Let's play... This, this is a nine. Let's just cast the explosion first and draw. Draw two. Oh yeah, it's coming together. It is coming together, Mesa. We don't want to get sunfall, obviously, so we can just try and uh, avoid that. I think. Let's draw two here. New world requires new strategies. <laughs> the world is our oyster. Uh, let's attack for thirteen. Not too shabby. I imagine we're getting sunfall next turn. That's fine. We just do it again next turn. So, yeah, there you go. That's fine. Yeah, both Planeswalkers minusing, but still going up is insane. Uh, let's untap. And we draw a mountain. And we're just going to make a token. Just do it again, I think. Nobody knows the Maybe we actually make a a Rawl token, because we, we'll do it next turn. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll just... Now we have an otter. You can do this. He's a sweet little otter. Man's coming together. Uh, we draw a mentor. We should, have a to, we should have a way to give things haste. Like I feel like maybe bitter reunion, bitter, bitter reunion would be good in this deck. Maybe like in this matchup specifically, but um, 
I don't want to get Sunfalled again, so... Resolve. Uh, I have a plan. We have no valid attackers right now, so nothing's lethal now. I mean, now I have two Mentors. Maybe we could have, could have gone, gone for lethal. If I go Mentor, Mentor, draw two Lightning Strike, that would be... Uh, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven damage. Right, three, six. No, it's nine. Yeah, it's lethal. Okay, sure. It's so weird to go from, like, being the control deck to all of a sudden just, like, rah, you're dead. You know, like, that's a counter spell, but... And we, this deck loves triggers. Holy moly. Right, do we have to win yet? I'm having a lot of fun. Just doing it like this. All right, cool. Okay. That was an odd game, but a, a pretty cool game. And now I get to board out all these crappy shocks for like actual spells against the control deck. So we're gonna bring in interference. It's so weird because like I feel like half the decks in the sideboard, right? We just have more interferences in the sideboard. Interference, interference. Uh, three steps ahead, negate, negate, tie binder, tie binder. Um, maybe two barrages. Let's cut the explosions. The Brotherhood's Ends, the Shocks. I guess we like leave in a few of these. Um, sure. Leave one of these. Okay, sure. All right, game two. Um. Yeah, a lot of new new returning players in chat. Staying back, get back into the game. A little worried about falling back into the game, but remember, folks, magic is great, and your relationship with magic can be, you know, good or bad. We've all had spots in our lives where you know maybe magic was wasn't healthy or whatever, but as long as you're focusing on yourself, and getting better, it's great. All right, so this draw is a little, a little less exciting, I guess, but it's fine. All right, what do we got? All right, so play a little Drago here. We have more counter spells now, so it's totally fine. The resolves look really weird in this deck, right? Like this card seems awkward as hell. We're playing counter spells and we're playing cards that care about drawing cards. This does neither, or plays well with neither. So it's kind of weird, but Fountain Port, sure. That's good in a Drago game. Um, I like a big fan of this card. This card's pretty cool. Being a 2D flyer is really nice. Um, now they have fountain poured up. It's kind of a bad, a bad deal for us. Um. Hmm. So we could like just cast Rawl here and just kind of like walk into a counter spell. Well, they're not fountain. Poisoning. Them fountain porting, fountain porting here sucks. But I guess it's fine. We'll just play it. Probably play a two-two end step. Zan asks for tips for keeping magic in balance from my experience. Uh, I think that magic is, it's, it can be a vice in a lot of ways, uh, but as far as vices go, it isn't even that bad. And then uh, it's mostly about just making sure your boundaries are good and making sure you're doing things you want to do and not letting magic be a crutch. You know, where like, I definitely had a time in my life where I was like just playing magic and I could have like been going out looking for a good job or trying to meet girls or whatever else. And I was like, just playing magic instead. Like that's not healthy or that's not good. And I knew it too, you know? So you kind of, you kind of know too. So being self-aware about stuff like that and just making sure things are in a healthy place. So makes you too. Recommend a cheap standard legal mid-range deck for arena. Uh, right the second no i don't know like prices and things and, and and what has a lot of rares and not as a lot of rares and stuff so unfortunately i don't have a good answer for you on that one but um i mean our 2 blocks their one ones but it's not really a great exchange either i guess we're just attacking like could stay back on d just block these for a while we just play like the who misses the land drop first game Magic is very expensive. I agree. Uh, but there are plenty of ways to, to mitigate that. You know, if you're playing casually with your friends, just proxy stuff. 
you know, um, share cards with your play with your play group. Decide what you want out of the game, you know? Take one. They have Anchorage. Obviously, we have Lightning Strike. You want them to block with the Anchorage, you know? So. All right. Not ideal. So. They miss a land drop. They did miss a land drop. So they have six spells in their hand, which is a good thing to make note of. Very, very important. All right. I think Magic is also overwhelming these days because there's just so many releases and so many things happening. You don't have to engage with everything. You know, like, just do things you want to do. All right, so... Rowl, Rowl, Strike, Negate. We'll cast Pearls next turn, obviously. I don't like this little, like... Found Board's really good in these sort of Drago matchups, but they're missing land drops, which they go again, whatever. Yeah, Arena, you, can, you can't play Arena free-to-play for sure. You know, you just understand that like, you won't be able to do everything, everything you want to do necessarily, but... All right, so say so go. They draw land. The answer seems to be no. So we're just going to sit here and keep making land drops, which is great. Cast Pearls. Mentor. I mean, that is definitely going to die. That's fine. We're flush on cards anyway, so... Land Mentor... Technically, we have Interference and Negate up. Won't for long, but... Crack Passage. Neb says, having trouble getting into new area with no magic scene and not liking Arena. Uh, yeah, it's fair. I mean, magic... I, 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 I definitely... It's funny, when I first started streaming... I didn't really get it in a way where I was like, why would you watch someone play a game when you just play the game yourself? But obviously now that's my, it's my job and I also interact with content on my own. I see it for sure. I watch a lot of StarCraft content. I very rarely ever play. Uh, Cause it just, it's hard. I can't really keep up with it, but I love watching it and I love the game. So it's like interesting to see the dynamics there too. So this is fun. Um, they're behind on lands, which is to make sure they can't resolve some good, some nasty spell here. And we can probably resolve Raw next turn and kind of keep things going. Uh, take three. The fish are coming. All right. They say go with six spells in hand. We're going to untap. We draw a negate. Okay. So we can try and resolve Rowl here and then fight through the counter spells and start making blockers. I'm in. We have two. So we like, actually want... We, we, like, we like want to fight a fight here and try and get them to like, you know, play some spells, yada, yada, yada. So... Here's negate. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna negate back. If they negate again, we're gonna let this, let's, let's, let's happen though. Okay. Okay. So make a token. Say go. All right, so here they come. Just gonna take the block here. Not gonna play a spell on Prowess. Just gonna like leave my counter spells up, be happy. Uh, Rawl's tough, folks. He can take it. Here's Caretaker's Talent. That cannot resolve. So we're gonna try and negate here. If they have a counter spell back, so be it. Another genius idea. They don't. All right, there we go. <laughs> Taking full control of the game now. Uh, interferences, Strike, Spire. I'm just gonna make a token. And now we have the one thing you want in the control mirror, which is the mana advantage. We have a two to one mana advantage almost. I think that they should have been sacrificing these fish to draw cards off Fountain Port. I think that they, having an army of fish was not necessary. They probably skipped like two draws off Fountain Port. I could have maybe found the lands to get back into the game, but I think now this game is almost over. Here's talent again. Um... I think we counter twice here. We're going to counter once. They'll pay two, and then we'll just counter again and make a flyer. New world requires new strategies. All right. I'm a fan of Interference fan. I think having a uh, a threat on your counter spell as an extra mode is pretty nice. We already know that, like, you know, two mana counter space two is, like, an okay card. So here's a barrage. Um, might be time to draw some cards with old Ral here. We're looking for some uh, some gas. I'll just invent a solution. Tidebinder. Okay, so let's discard 
the barrage and the extra raw. And I think we're good here, folks. Then we play Thundering Falls, take a look. We see land, we'll ship that. And I am pretty fine just attacking. We have Vista Block also. Yeah, it's all good. You're up. The Fountainport and Mirix question. I think Fountainport is better on average, but Mirix is better in decks with better with more color requirements and more aggressive decks. Like if you're not sacking tokens to draw cards with uh, with Fountainport, I think it is not that exciting. So they're gonna have to ferry here. We can actually just counter to ferry, and then just attack it, um, rather than counter it as proper. I could also just like full kick this though. Let's just do this. So let's go one, two, three, full spree. Let's copy our two, two flyer. And yeah, this is a little, too, a little good. All right, so give me a two, two, draw some cards, discard. I don't know, probably extra raw. I think we're good to go here, folks. Draw another kind of, the counter spells on the are kind of nice. Uh, let's just do this. Got sleight of hand. I've calculated exactly what I need. Take Tidebinder, and I think we're basically done here. We now have an actual 2 to 1 mana advantage, and we're almost equal on cards, too. Interesting deck. It's just Guy Caretakers rather than Blue White or Red White. Brawl's a cool card. I agree. All right, so take out with Tidebinder, Tidebinder, Counterspell, Removal Spell up. Ultimate here is draw three, and then your emblem is storm, which actually is cool. And actually, we have actual burn spells too. So, cool, cool match. That was a good win for us. I like that one. Otters assemble. All right. Yeah, the idea of playing bitter reunion is like is pretty interesting. Uh, sure. It's also cool because, like, the talent looks like a, an aggro card. It's not a bad control card, either. Like, rebuying spells, and then the level 3 is an actual win condition, too. It's kind of cool. It's a cool card. Alright, so here's a Ren's Resolve. Don't think Ren's Resolve is very good in this deck, but... I'm probably getting, getting cut down here, but, like, whatever. It's fine. That's the thing where, like, if they cut down my token here, this thing's still in play for a longer game, which is really cool, so... Blue, black, nothing, huh? All right. Um, Mentor has a little more value, and they probably... So I don't want to play into a kill spell here. I think we just go land draw, too. Just like... They don't want to kill my guy. I'll just take our cards. Attack. No go for the throat, either? Wow. Yeah, it's very expensive, but the uh, chapter three of his talent is... A legitimate win condition for sure. Liliana of the Veil. Not so good here. Not so good. My home, and I don't appreciate it. Touch my All right, so that's dead. <sighs> and you know, what else is dead? This Liliana's dead. Uh, we're just gonna tap land here. I'll just kill Liliana and tap land. Surveil is land and bin. Cool. And uh, go get him, buddy. Let's go. I know when I'm not wanted. Their hand must be very chunky because they haven't done anything yet. So, like, I would guess they're probably the Innkeeper's Talent deck and they just have, like, two Faraskas in their hand or something like that. All right, that's a very dead Glissa. We can just, like, rock and roll here, right? We can just go Mentor, Talent, Lightning Strike. So an oddly aggressive draw because I mean, our, our deck's kind of controlling and then kind of aggressive. It's like a weird, it's a weird, it's definitely, this deck is a really weird, like, toe in the line, you know? Uh, and yes, we, we just cast Lightning Bolt. Pretty cool, right? Cast the Lightning Bolt. Lay out of the Veil again. Uh, no more someone in chat was saying earlier that Lay out of the Veil was too good in standard, and I disagreed, and uh, this is why. All right, uh, extra Mentor can go. We have a thousand card draws. Maybe I might just kill him this turn, honestly. Here's Rent Resolve. Prowse, Prowse, Prowse. Uh, here's Stormtrooper's Talent. Browse, browse, browse. I should have played this first, actually. That was dumb. Here's your draw, draw Shock. 
And here's explosion. Or something else. Uh, decline. And here's a slide of hand. I feel like four slide of hands is also just like a pretty solid one you want to have. But, uh, there you go. All right. All right. That was an another odd but impressive game, which is a cool place to be. Opponent's playing a mid rangey deck. Um, I'd say these shocks aren't very good. I'd want some more bigger removal spells, though. We don't really have many answers to Shieldred, honestly. Like, there's actually none. This deck seems sweet, but needs work, I think. Um, like, Strike is fine, I guess. Tidebinder is the worst answer to Shieldred ever, but it is an answer, sort of. Um, our ill-timed explosions are a little weird. Brotherhood's end is pretty good against them, honestly. I guess it's a freaking Tidebinder. I don't love it, but sure. Like, <laughs> That was a weird game, right? Like, I kept seven. They just kind of, like, didn't do a lot. <laughs> Oh, opponent, where are you? Where are they? Hey, folks, first of the mirror. Oh, there we go. We're good. There we go. Ah, that one lander. Mulligan. Ship it. Uh, says gas. We can keep this and dump the tie binder. And I think we just have a, a nice, like, jukey hand here where we're going to play as talent. We have a sweeper, too. Which Stalker Frenzy is, is totally reasonable. We have some attackers. Cost reduction. Yeah, I I was correct. They are in there in Keeper's Talent deck. Okay, so we'll just slide a hand and look at Pearls and Explosion. Let's take the Pearls. Fortunately, this hand is a little worse than our prior hands, but it's fine. Work it through. Uh, untap should be working. There was an update, so it's possible it's not, but ooh, wow. That's actually a banger card against us. Another ex exploit on us not having um, not having big enough stuff. All right, that's bad. Uh, crap. Well, we're gonna attack, and they're probably not gonna block. And then we just like can't kill this thing. It's just too big. And the counters from the talent and the maps. This is just gonna be like an unkillable threat, which is pretty bad for us. Uh. It's like never block here in a million years, you know? <laughs> like, just one damage. All right, sure. Draw two. Okay, yeah. So things that kill things larger than three toughness is definitely on our uh, our want list. This card's really good. This card definitely, like, just slides under the radar. This card's really good. All right, uh, now it's got ward one. And put a counter on, it's a 5-6. Taxa makes another map. I mean, if they do actual nothing, I can double lightning strike it, but they're probably going to map onto it. Bounce spell? No, this deck is too mid rangey to have one a bounce spell. Play Bronco. Okay. Sure. So I want to kill the Bronco too. We kind of can't. Hmm. All right. This sucks a bit, but it's also super awkward that uh, Brotherhood's End also hits Planeswalkers. It's like a really weird like anti synergy in the deck because Planeswalkers is important. It's not Franklin. Sugar coat, getting sugary. Um, this is gonna get really, really big. All right, I think we're like so. I play Ral here as a and I try and defend with it. Brotherhood's end is really, really bad at that point. Yeah, I think we're in trouble this game, honestly. All right, I'll just play Ral, I guess. We boarded out. We didn't board out our, our... We still have four explosions in our deck. 
The problem is we don't have any, that many big things in our deck. So, like, it's kind of hard to make the explosion do more than, like, four damage. Mighty. Four cards. This is on level two. Yeah. Like, if we could have just killed this turn they play it, oh my god. Choking Miasma. I think we're going to the next game, folks. Uh, Bat God, too. Man. Alright, so... Rawl is dead. Long live Rawl. And I hope I change back when I leave. Are you mumbling about seven toughness? Seven toughness. All right, that's a that's a problem. Uh, definitely a problem. We can't really address here in our sideboard. Uh, I think I want these interferences on the play now. I almost think I just don't want Brotherhood's end. Yeah, I think it's hard just might even be bad in the deck, honestly. I'm just gonna add a... Uh, they have they showed me uh Bronco. Honestly, Torch Tower is fine. Because they can deal three also. Let's try these tie biters suck too, I think. Let's bring in another torch and a braid. I think. Honestly, the gate's not the worst either. Like, they have discard spells, Raska, talent. Sure. Let's try this. On play. Uh, uh, they have Scryland. I'm keeping. Flick a coin? Why would I want to flick a coin? Like, what for? Make an otter, say go. Duress me? Sure. I mean, it's fine. You know. Alright, well. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. Pearl me up. Good draw. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Duress me again. Duress me again. Come on, play Deep Cavern Bat. Bring it on. Nope, it's 3 2. Sure. We draw explosion. All right. I mean, I want to scry, so it, our sparkle's annoying, but whatever. Here's a falls. Another talent. I'm gonna ship this. I think we just do better than that. So I go. Um, not thrilled right now, honestly. But pre yeah, we gotta we we uh. All right. So as far as things that would kill preacher here, we have we have four owls, two to fairies, and three explosions. As far as cards that cost four more. We probably will cast the explosion next turn and just try Mize, I think. Oh my god, man. Alright, whatever. I mean, it's all only card, only card to cast anyway, so let's try and get lucky here. We did get lucky. Unfortunately, we're discarding the Raw, which we kind of need, but we need to kill these. So, this sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, those are dead. They're off the board. They get to Mosswood. Next turn will probably be Mosswood for them, which is fine. Better than playing an actual threat. Sure. Wow, tap land. That's really good for us. Just kidding. Sure. Uh, let's buy back our explosion. Right? Probably explosion. I mean, Torch Tower exiles the moss wood. It's kind of cool. But, like, we have no gas right now. So... I mean, there's a chance we just level to level three next turn, honestly. They want card draw spells after that. I think it's explosion. Let's say go. Probably gonna level up to level three and just try and like ride that wave. So we're pretty flooded here. So, oh my god, it's bad for us. All right, well they drew a, a bat god. Bat. All right, well, 
I think we're in trouble. Level let's say go. They'll attack. We'll discard a land, and we'll hope we, I guess, have a good explosion again. Talent's been pretty good, yeah. Like, the, the full buffalo on Talent's been pretty good. Um... So we're at 13. We have some work to do here. Not our finest draw, for sure. Really getting wrecked by creatures with, you know, four more toughness. We draw another land. That's bad. Um, all right. Well, what are we going to do? Just going to cast Explosion and hope we get lucky. What else can we do here? We draw. All right. Well, we can kill everything. Um, we can discard Teferi and a land, I suppose. The problem is they're, like, pretty close to getting it back anyway. Yeah, we'd have to, right? There's no choice. So, all right. So, yeah, discard these. And then we're in this awkward spot where, like, we want to play a land. But if we have one or fewer cards they can bring back their god so it it might be mentor go but then our interference is down it's just like really really awkward i guess we'll just say go right we'll just say go with the interference up ways to kill that unfortunately uh all right we get their moss wood we get an otter um we draw three steps ahead which isn't the worst i mean you can, like have a bunch of blocking otters damn man Big creatures. Big creatures are a problem. And I don't want to empty my hand for this stupid thing either. Uh, three. And then four. It's three. It's six mana to copy a thing. I got an otter, and then an otter. And then an otter. Shit. All right, whatever. Oh, boy. Choking Miasma. So let's counter this and make a copy of Stormwatch Mentor. And see if our, what, what would win, an army of otters or one Phyrexian queen? Oh my god. Well, that's all of it, folks. Alright, I think we're dead. We just don't have a way to kill Shieldered, like in our entire deck, you know? Like, it's, it's not, um, it's not double spelling. Alright, it's untap, we draw land, yeah, we're super dead. All right, yeah, uh, we lost the game of deck building for sure. Uh, definitely deck needs a little bit of work, but we'll, we'll go over that at the end, of course. Yeah. We're nine? They have this uh, cottage, too. All right. All right, you got me. GG. GG. All right. Let's take a, take a look, look, look at this little deck here. Take a look at this deck. There's a lot of cool things happening here, uh, but it's a weird build, really weird build. All right, so there's a lot of things here that I like. I do it's surprisingly kind of like the half prowess aggro, half control angle. I think that Storm Chaser's talent has enough flexibility as both an early game card and a late game card that it allows you to put on a little bit of pressure and require an answer, but also get you value late. Again, if you play this card and they kill it with a with a, a go for the throat, 
uh, and then you just activate it later in the game for value. That's just strict card advantage, you know, which is pretty cool. And the mentor being a cost reducer, it's sort of like a Lana or elf. I could also attack. Occasionally, it'll just like win the game. But uh, same idea. Like you can draw out some rule spells and stuff. But I like the upward angle of a deck too. Like the Teferi and the Raw were both awesome. Uh, both really, really cool. Uh, that being said, the Brotherhood's end play very poorly with almost every card in the deck. Like you, it kills your own prowess guys, which can be okay. Also kills your Raw and, and Teferi. If things don't go work, don't, don't go right either. So that's kind of awkward. The Ren's Resolve's also awkward, too, because, like, they don't draw cards. They're just kind of awkward with counterspells. Uh, so, like, I don't think the Resolve's and the Brotherhood's ends are great. This might be a necessary card to play in your main deck against the more aggro decks. It's a great cyborg card, obviously, for aggro decks, too. But, it I don't know. It just feels a little weird to me. Uh, the Shocks and the Strikes are cool with the Rawl, obviously, and those are fine for removal. This card's great. Kind of want more Sleight of Hands. wouldn't mind trying out um, some other two-mana two card draw spell over Ren's Resolve. Uh, how many lands is this? 22 lands? I want four slide of hands, I think, also. And then I think that the this thing can do a pretty good job of being... Uh, Cyborg can really help this deck going one way or the other, which is kind of cool. Um, as far as big things to kill larger things, uh, Witch Shocker Frenzy is interesting. There's a number of cards that deal five, like Nahiri's... Was it? Nahiri's Warcrafting is fine. Uh, there are other cards too that deal five damage um, that can kill shield and other big things. There's also a card I like a lot in uh, the X spell. It's the uh, the blue blue X uh, blue sense twilight. This card's kind of gas actually, and with the uh, cost reducer from mentor and stuff like that too, you can steal smaller things, steal bigger things. Like imagine having two of these against that green black deck and like stealing a glissa or stealing a shield or stealing a whatever. Uh, card's kind of sweet, so that's kind of cool also. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just plenty of ways to do it. I think this is a cool... It's a cool idea, but it looks kind of bad on paper, but played better than I thought it would, and worth exploring. So, more to play on stream. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll play this deck more, and uh, let me know your thoughts.